Moments to go. Blake Griffin caught up with the media. Hey Blake, obviously that was your first time playing with Kevin tonight, in a, you know, as a net. Just you know, what what do you think of his performance, and then how did you think you know you two gelled early on? Um, I thought he was um, obviously fantastic, <laughs> very very good. I mean, anytime you come in and play. I mean, his numbers, I think they put him up on the screen. He'd only played 12 minutes at the time. He was like four for four, five for five from the free throw line. I think five rebounds, four assists or something like that. It's just like, you know, after missing two week, two months and then coming back and like looking that um, comfortable, it's just, I mean, it's crazy. But, um, you know, as far as playing with him, I mean, players like that, you know, some of the guys we have, like they just make the game easy. So um, for me, it's just about getting the reps and getting used to it. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Blake, uh, after your dunk, your teammates got incredibly excited. I just wanted to know uh, what it means to play with this group and, and the way that they're supporting you. Uh, they've been fantastic, man. I mean, you know, um, not even just that. I mean, just like from the time I got here, um, you know, they've just been, they, you know, they just kind of sort of, for lack of a better word, it just accepted me, you know, and, and um, you know, been very positive, helped me out, you know, with this transition and, and trying to feel comfortable and, and normal and, and encourage me to play my game. So, um, you know, anytime you, you have that, it, it obviously makes, a, makes a, a transition like this much easier. So I'm, I'm very appreciative of, of all of them. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Blake, in, in the second quarter there, you guys have started to get some separation and then KD came in and everything just kind of took off. I mean, how much of that was attributable, attributable to him, or, or what else did you see in that second and third quarters where you guys just kind of did whatever you wanted offensively? Yeah, I mean, a big part of him. I mean, you know, as soon as he checks in the game, defenses sort of shift their attention. So, um, you know, him hitting shots obviously helps, but also, you know, him just making the right plays, uh, not forcing it. Um, you know, I thought I thought he did just such a great job of. of Letting the game come to him, you know, and it's easy to kind of like rush and try to try to, um, you know, go get it on your own. Um, but he just changes the game, you know, for for our offense and defense. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Blake, I, I know there's been a lot of discussion about chemistry, and the overwhelming sentiment is, well, we have so much talent, it's all going to work out. But does getting Kevin back and having it go the way it did tonight, is that how, in what ways, how does that make you feel? Does it reinforce it? What, what does that leave you feeling? Well, I mean, it's a good step to, to getting there. Um, I don't know that my sentiment is, is um, you know, it's all going to work out. We have work to do, you know, and we have to, we have to you know, focus and, and put the time in and, and make sure that we have cleaned up the areas that we need to clean up. I mean, you know, you've seen a lot of talent on teams lose before. Um, so that, that that's not really, I would say that's the locker room's mindset. Steve Lichtenstein with WFAN. Hi, Blake. Uh, Zion Lewis came into the game with a lengthy streak of 20 points, 50% shooting, and you guys uh, halted that. What was the key? And I think everyone wants to know what it felt like to take a charge from him. Um, yeah, team effort on that. You know, he, he's a he's a great player. Um, so you know, just just making sure we're physical. Um, not try not to give him anything easy, um, and 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 you know, make him earn everything. But you know, he's a great player. Um, charge. You know, I've taken a lot of charges in my career. I, I don't think twice about it.